Alright, so I'm sure you'd think this video's strange and all. Um, like, Drew, here from Box Therapy, why are, why are you making a video that doesn't relate to boxes? Well, that is because I have a little passion project that I've wanted to start for a while now. That I'm just gonna get to, finally. And that is, well, messing around with my computer. If you've read this title, it's, uh, Razors and Blades, so... Pretty easy to put together that I have the Razer Blade base model 2018. The computer really is great. It's a bit very overpriced, and it lacks a few features. And that's where I'm going to come in. I'm going to mess around with this computer. I'm going to change it up, and I'm, well, going to mess with my setup. Today, all I'm really going to be doing is, well, taking off the back panel, showing you guys what's inside, and explaining my battle strategy. Now that I've given you a bit of a rundown of what we're doing, I'm gonna take this thing downstairs and open the back lid up and hopefully not have much trouble. But because I'm filming this afterwards, you know I have. But not really. Everything's fine. So let's go downstairs. Now if this was an actual proper professional YouTube channel, I would have moved on to my sponsor by now. But I'm not. I still recommend though, for if you want to achieve a project like this, where you are taking apart a mobile device, such as a computer or laptop, I fix it. Um, I haven't used their products directly, but I have friends who have. I would really recommend them. Their prices are moderate. Oh, dear. oh I nearly lost that screw underneath the couch. <clears throat> Now, if this was a professional YouTube channel, which it definitely is not, I would be in to shout out my sponsor around now. Fun! Now, if this was a professional channel, which it isn't, I would be recommending a sponsor. But I would still like to recommend iFixit and their Protect Tool t uh, Kit if you want to use anything or do any projects like the Fudge! If this were a more professional YouTube channel, I would probably be introducing my sponsor about now. But this isn't. Um, before I open up this case, I would still recommend iFixit and their ProTech Toolkit if you don't have a dad who has some crazy set of tools that he never uses. And always remember, make sure to lay out your screws in a position or pattern where you can remember where you put them. Now. Let's crack open this Razor Blade 15 and see what's inside. And there it is. 16 gigabytes of RAM, a Core i7, a NVIDIA GTX 1060 Max-Q, and a minuscule battery. Now, originally I had plans to go all out in this build. I wanted to, one day, put a better SSD card in here. What is that, and why is it sticking up? Uh... I don't think that matters. But, um... My original plans were to go all out in this build. Put in a huge SSD, and... Transfer everything over into it from the hard drive. And then, place in the advanced model's huge battery. I still think, one day, if I could ever get sponsored by Razer, I would totally try that. But the only issue I ran into was... It used a different battery connector cable. And boy, was I going to do some crazy stuff with that. Because the advanced model does include a lot more features, including a massive and respective battery. Now, I know I never will get the word out there, but one day, my ambitions are to get sponsored by Razer and make videos, I don't know, about their latest technology. Because boy, oh boy, do they pump out some amazing stuff. I mean, just look at the internals of this thing. We have these massive main heat pipes. One singular for the GPU and CPU, and then one shared between both. We have, well, just everything crammed in here. Minus a bigger battery. The fans are a bit dusty. I've tried to clean them off. I am sorry for that. But tell me that isn't just incredible. I still have plans in the long run if this channel does really well. Which, main one, put in a 32 gigabyte slot of RAM, because who doesn't think that's cool? 
to swap in a bigger SSD. I'm not going to take out the hard drive, because that's going to mess with the balance big time. But it would be nice to boot things faster. And those are my major plans for the inside. On the outside, I'm not going to flip this around. I'm just going to keep talking about it like this. I am going to make a few episodes uh, every Wednesday. Just remember that. And I think I'm going to start with um, the keyboard. Because I have found a little pass-through to give it more color gamuts. And allow it to do more interesting things. Uh, next, I'm going to try and hook up an external monitor. Because that sounds cool. And then really think of things from there. Big ambitions are to swap in the 144 hertz display because this is only a 60 hertz model, or get a 144 hertz monitor. But that's long run stuff there. But in the meantime, I'm gonna have to get some ideas, and I'm gonna move back upstairs. So now that we're back upstairs, I want to show you the first of many enhancements I plan to add to this computer. We have here. Now, it overheats now and then, and I wanted to boost the clock speeds, get that speed up in Forza Horizon 4. So, because I don't think I'm getting sponsored anytime soon, here's where cardboard comes into life. I have made and measured out the perfect size for a laptop stand. It makes sure that it can breathe, and lowers the temps by around 5 degrees on average. We can plug it in. I didn't still suck at plugging things in. Now I put it off the filter. I just really would wish Razor would sponsor me. That would be so cool, man. Do a giveaway. Um, but there you have it. It's now stood upon its stand of pedestals. I will now uh, do some benchmarks to show you guys what it can get. Now, hear me out there. That was a time lapse. In reality, it took about three minutes, and here we can see the scores it got. Now, this was the non-boost clock speed, and as you can read here, it got about 9,000, sorry, 19,061, which is pretty good for a 6-core, 12-thread, 2.2 gigahertz uh, CPU. But with a bit of fine-tuning, you can see here my previous score I got when I overclocked it. I got around 2,100, so a pretty modest improvement, and I have been able to get a little higher. Now, up next, I'm going to be switching over the clock speeds, as I can see down here, to a 2 plus 200 plus 200 on a memory and core, and we'll be benchmarking on Forza Horizon 4. This will, once again, don't get confused, be a time lapse. Now, as an early disclaimer, before this loads in, I want to say that this is on full max settings, and not the ultimate graphic settings, which is around a 10% down from the highest possible settings of this game. Now, this is a little strange. I did get significantly better performance on previous tests. I don't exactly know what caused this, but I had managed to get the average frame rate up to a 60, which was good enough by me. But as you can see, it's, it's a bit lackluster, only being able to pull out barely 60 frames per second on average. And I did not have any lag spike, frame spikes like that prior to now. But overall, it performs well, and most of that is actually to that mini heating stand. I have gained about three frames from that alone, just being able to cool it down that extra multiple, around six degrees Celsius. Now, because of how different this video was to the last ones, I want you guys' opinion. What, what do you think? Do you want another one of these next Wednesday, which I already plan on making? Just want to know. 
But yeah, um, big goal in the future. Get ready to sponsor me. And if you stuck around this long, I want to show you a little bit of what will be going on next episode. Now, if I fire up the Cortex, I have learned that Razor has a little bit of a something that they've been hiding from us. If you open up the um, beta testing version and go to Wave, or any of them, it's this single zone keyboard is actually quad zone. Nani. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't. It really helps. Um, maybe we can do bigger projects in the future. More cardboard videos coming out soon. I'm kind of really busy. I was sick today. Had a bit of diarrhea. Um, so I want you guys to tell me what you think. Uh, maybe one day we really can make it out there in the world, but who knows. Thank you all and see you guys.